in here so what is good could it be one of the check it's your boy Bob Lamb Choo! and hopefully my body does not have an allergic reaction I don't know what it is lately but like I don't maybe I am using some sort of uh, laundry detergent or dryer sheets but I've been getting hives all over my body every single night and I don't know why and like maybe it's because I just got this hoodie for Christmas or I was wearing a different hoodie and I was using a different blanket on other nights and somehow I just turned into, you know, I I, I got COVID goddamn 9,000. But anyway, in today's stream, I first wanted to talk about how you guys already saw Lil Uzi Vert got some new pink hair. You know what I'm Right here. People are saying it's extensions. It looks like it's blue as well. He's got like the long dreads, kind of looking like Lil Wayne, if you ask me, or maybe even Future. Um, it's not necessarily like the old Uzi with the pink and blue, because he did have, but they were on all on the same hair or the same dread or lock, whatever you want to call it. Whereas this one, he's got specific dreads for, or locks for specific colors. But this pink tape in correlation with Delta pink or pink tape, whatever it ends up being, the project that Uzi is trying to drop. With this new information coming out, the, the poster of pink tape track list leaked or something. I don't know how people found this photo, but you know Uzi and Cardi Detectives, it does say pink right here. And then Delta pink on this whiteboard. Delta pink and I got my thumb in her stink. That should be the first bar off Uzi's tape. But anyway, so we gotta figure out what these blurred lines are. I know it's too far and it's terrible quality, but shit. We just gotta draw our own feature on here, like play boy car T. Cause he literally has to be on it or else I'm gonna cry. But he does look like cotton candy. I might have to suck on one of Lil Uzi Vert's dreads. If I do say so myself, they do look like, they look pretty appetizing. And that's no homosexual shit, but look at that saturation of the hot pinkness. It looks like the inside of my girl's asshole. And I be licking that shit up like it's Thanksgiving dinner, brah. Or even the, the, the roast beef, the rare part of it that my mama cooks or cuts for me specifically because she knows I like it that bloody. Mm. But yeah, as I was saying, looks like pink tape's dropping soon. He was supposed to drop it Halloween, right? But then he ended up dropping just Demon High. He was supposed to, or he, he is still, it's Tuesday. S fan pages are still saying that he might drop Friday, a, a music video. I'm not so sure about that. It was like the videographer of the music video that was claiming this. I don't think so. We'll see though because there have been multiple music videos by Uzi that just never got released. Like uh, last year, I believe, like in the summer, when we thought Uzi was gonna drop with like even Cardi with like, uh, I can't even remember what they're called, but Cartier, that was, that was earlier this year, right? Either way, I still do think Pink Tape is dropping next year. A lot of projects are. The Party Never Ends by Juice World. Then we got fucking potentially Narcissist, that's gonna be the song, the, the album of the year if he even drops it. Uh, we got Utopia, hopefully, hopefully, um, maybe Kendrick, but Kendrick takes so long, we don't even know. Trippy Red, you can count on him to drop at least one project every single year, and I'm cool with that. I like that kind of release schedule. Yeah, a love letter to you five. I think he just previews a new snippet. I'm not too. I don't know, hyped about the snippets because I just feel like I'm not really in the like love song or emo rap vibe anymore. I just feel like that was that was like in the past, you know, I mean, maybe he'll bring it back, though, because Trippy Red kind of did bring back like this uh, alternative subgenre with Neon Shark. And I actually enjoyed that project. But then again, Machine Gun Kelly actually brought it back um, and Juice World actually, because Juice World was on that shit with Travis Barker and whatever. But yeah, so I, I mess with all of these artists, but but Narcissist and Pink Tape, those are my top two. Y'all already know. Uzi and Cardi are my faves. Oh, both my faves. 
when is party never end dropping apparently the summer because it's like the party never ends like we drinking we smoking we popping x we we drinking codeine i'll definitely be popping x i'm trying to pop x soon i'm trying to pop x on new year's but everything in miami everything's so inflated because it's like every single city like populated city in america right now since they've been pumping the economy with hella money rent is about to go up like three four hundred dollars per month when i renew my lease good thing i'm moving to boston but it's the same thing in boston so everything's costing like two thousand dollars and more of rent and i'm like god damn like i'm fine with it i got the money but shit. but anyway as i was saying just to buy a ticket for a new year's party down here in miami it costs like five hundred dollars just to get in on like a table and, I, and if you haven't hit a club before like on new year's you kind of have to have a table to like have fun because it's so crowded you need like your own spot you get a little strip not a stripper sorry you get like a little bottle girl comes up like shaking her ass she's she's typically like at least an eight out of ten talking about like rating wise she got some fat ass titties she got a little dump uh, and she brings you some vodka or whatever and then you and the boys You can't even drink the whole bottle because or, or you can I guess what I mean to say is you drink the bottle within like 30 minutes Maybe even less like 15 minutes and then you got all the girls that come to the table Each of you at least got one you know what I mean unless except for your one friend who probably gets no ass whatsoever um, and then they're drinking for free basically they just need to be let buy like a, a general admission ticket and the bottle's gone and then you have to go buy drinks at the, the bar in Miami drinks are literally like 25 bucks plus tip and it's like bitch I ain't I ain't paying for no drinks so I'm just gonna go get a couple's massage with Bella on New Year's um, have her parents take us out to a nice dinner I might chip in I might do that look little, little one thing where you're like yeah, you, you pull your wallet out of your pocket and then her dad's gonna be like, oh, no, no, I got this, but thank you for offering. I'll be like, yeah, I wasn't even about to offer, but yeah, I tricked you. Yeah, <laughs> that's how you do it. Do I get bored of listening to Uzi and Cardi? Definitely, definitely. I mean, I was just before y'all hopped into the chat. I mean, we were just listening to Cash Dami. We were just listening to Lil Yachty. It's just that Uzi and Cardi for me are like the most consistent or one of, or some of the most consistent rappers that I can always look forward to them releasing. Whereas the other ones are kind of like surprises. I mean, Trippy Red, like I'm, I'm, he's definitely consistent, right? I like Trip at Night. I like Neon Shark. I liked even Pegasus, even though hella people hated on it. Um, but like for the love letter to you snippets, like I'm just, you know, I'm just chilling. I'm still just hyped mostly for Narcissus. Cardi is my favorite artist. And do not disrespect my boy, my, my boy Cash Dami. He's not trash Dami. He's not, no, no, don't say that. 